Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, established in 1942, is an autonomous body and the largest research and development organization in India. It runs 37 laboratories and 39 field stations or extension centers spread across the nation. The Indian chemical industry has an annual turnover of over $150 billion and with an annual growth rate of 11 to 12 percent, it is expected to cross $200 billion by 2017-2018. The major sectors in the chemicals area are bulk chemicals and petrochemicals, dye stuffs and pigments, agrochemicals, drugs and pharmaceuticals, specialty chemicals, and also bio-related products. CSIR NCL and CSIR IICT are considered as the main centers of research in field related to chemicals. The main focal areas which have been undertaken at this lab are as follows. Exploratory research and science, applied research and technology, consultancy and scientific services, building and maintaining national resource centers, education, training, dissemination and popularization, contributions to scientific professions, Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad, established in 1944, is a constituent laboratory of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Catalysis plays an important role in our daily life. More than 90% of all the chemical transformations use a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that enhances the rate of chemical reaction without actually getting consumed in the reaction. For more than four decades, CSIR NCL, located at Pune, has made world-renowned contributions in the area of catalysis pertaining to petroleum refining, petrochemicals, fine chemicals, green chemistry, pollution control, and renewable fuels. The Magic Product and Process Laboratory of CSIR NCL aims at transforming the fine and speciality chemical sector of the Indian chemicals industry by adopting a magic approach that stands for developing modular, agile, intensified and continuous process and plants. The magic plant includes the facilities and set of scientists who are keenly developing the approach to help the Indian chemical industry to get transformed and remain relevant in the time to come. Polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell converts the chemical energy of hydrogen directly into electricity through an electrochemical process which is more efficient than combustion. Unlike the conventional method, CSIR NCL process converts a variety of inedible oils and animal fat into biodiesel. In India, an estimated number of population suffering from COPD is 22 million and 35 million from asthma. CSIR NCL has come up with a solution based on hollow fiber membrane technology. The indigenous technology is cost effective as compared to currently available solution, thereby making it affordable and accessible to BOP population. CSIR NCL has developed hollow fiber membrane, which has pores small enough to exclude virus and bacteria, yet porous enough to operate on tap water pressure for making pure drinking water at low cost for schools, hospitals and public places. CSIR NCL has contributed over the years in several ways to the development of the chemical industry in India, particularly in the area of generic drugs. The National Collection of Industrial Microorganisms is a microbial culture repository dedicated to isolation, preservation and distribution of authentic and industrially important microbial strains. The diversity and quality management of its bioresources render the NCIM an internationally known supplier for science, pharmaceutical laboratories, national reference centers, as well as industrial partners. Another lab which is doing commendable work in chemicals and pharmaceutical sector is CSIR IICT situated in Hyderabad. The CSM CRI Institute at Bhavnagar has devised a new way to help people in distress by making a mobile bus with a purification plant to serve in areas where pure drinking water 
is not available. The production of potash technology developed at CSIR CSMCRI at Bhavnagar has saved a lot of money. This has also been one of the most successful ventures of CSRI CSMCRI. In the similar manner, the CSIR IIP Institute at Dehradun has devised catalysts and processes to convert renewable oils into biofuel for aviation, which is another significant step towards creating alternate solutions of energy requirements in the country, as well as solving the environmental problem.